signatures um, to go ahead and create a um, citizens initiative to ban GE crops. And I'm gonna let Ivan Olaski from Friends and Family Farmers tell you a little bit of history and what happened during that time in 2013. <coughs> but on my side, I became involved in that campaign and really looked at why do I care what happens with seeds? And the reason I care as a farmer is one is we spend thousands and thousands of dollars every year on our seed supply. So the first year, for instance, we were on our farm, we spent almost $10,000 in seed. Um, we don't have a super big farm, but we have 35 acres or so in production on a 100 acre farm. And this year after we collect seed, um, over those times of four years being on this property, we now spent $300 in seed. So it is a savings for us being able to s save and collect our own seed. And then we also sell <coughs> around our farm alone, sells probably $40,000 worth of seed a year. So it's not a big part of our, our operation, but it also is part of our operation. Part of being a family farmer and any kind of business is being diverse and having different outlets. So if one thing goes wrong, we have something else to fall back on. So that's my personal story and why I got involved. And right now I'm part of our family farms uh, which is an organization that's uh, farmer driven. We represent hundreds of farms in Southern Oregon and thousands of people cr across the state who are concerned about the contamination of genetically engineered crops on family farmers. And so we're doing all that we can to protect farmers and allow them to have opportunities and the economic opportunities to have a robust seed supply, which in turn helps all of you because it actually has to do, it influences the cost of food that you have on your plate. 